The Valley Between Religion and Archaeology on Giants For many years now there has been a huge valley of difference between those people of faith and those who have a degree in archaeology about the existence of giants in the past, or at least much taller people than we see walking the earth today. First, we must understand that the Bible does actually tell Christians that there were giants in the earth in those days. There are 11 references in the Bible to giants in only four books of the Bible. So that is the biblical information on the giants, but perhaps the one that is most intriguing and informative is the passage in Genesis 6, chapter 4, that says, quote, There were giants in the earth in those days, unquote. Now let's move on to the archaeologists and the problem that they have with their own kind when it comes to being honest, or not, about giants in the past. The fact is that there have been skeletons of so-called giants found in numerous places across the globe by archaeologists, but yet so many deny. Now to be honest, there are a lot of hoax photos out there, but the truth can still be found. Let's look at the finders. In January of 1870, on the 13th day of that month, in the Wisconsin Decatur Republican, it was reported that two well-preserved giant skeletons of a race of people that were unknown were found near Potosi, Wisconsin, as workers were preparing a foundation for a sawmill. One skeleton measured seven and a half feet, and the other was eight feet in height, and both had double rows of teeth. With this find were numerous arrowheads and what were noted as, quote, strange toys, unquote, that had been buried with the remains. Scientists, archaeologists, have remained silent for years about the discovery of 18 skeletons that were found in Wisconsin way back in May of 1912. These skeletons were located in burial mounds beside Lake Delavan, Wisconsin. The skulls of these giants were reported to be elongated and were completely different than any scientific concept at that time. The skeletons were reported to have ranged from 7.5 feet tall all the way up to 10 feet in height. Reports of the find appeared in the New York Times on May 4, 1912. According to the information, these skulls also had double rows of teeth, but also sported six toes on each foot and six fingers on each hand. Yes, even at that time it was reported that the bones could have belonged to, quote, aliens, unquote. And in the time after that find, there have been at least 200 more digs that claim other finds of giants at different places around the globe. Now let's look at the deniers. The deniers are those people, and especially archaeologists, who refuse to consider the facts. In reality, back in 1870, or 1912, there was no real way to replicate a human-type skeleton as can be done today. Also, photography was simply black and white, and there were no computers that could use Photoshop software to enhance, change, or completely fake photos. So why do these specific archaeologists refuse to believe? Could it be that it's because of the way that they were educated and trained to think? Or could it be that they have seen the facts but because they are so-called professionals who have in the past denied the evidence of the existence of giants, that they are now unwilling to fess up to the fact that they were wrong. In reality, if mainstream archaeology, science, said that they were wrong about the giants, they would lose their credibility on most everything they have ever said about other things and would have no credibility in the future. Let's look at Christian faith. If you consider yourself a true Christian and a Christian who believes in God's holy word, then you are more than likely to believe that there were giants in those days, Genesis 6-4. However, if you discuss this outside your circle of Christian friends, you stand a good chance of being ridiculed. Let's take a look at the Smithsonian Institute. The Smithsonian Institute has been accused of cheating. Yes, they have actually been accused of hiding the truth about giants in their own facilities. In one case, they have been accused of actually hiding items found in a cave in the Grand Canyon that would prove that the scientific archaeology findings about the past history of the world is all wrong. But will they own up to this? Probably not. 
And now the bottom line. The bottom line here to all of this is that you will have to do your own research and come to your own conclusions about the existence of giants in the earth in the past. Simply put, because the scientific community today doesn't want to deal with it. And there's probably more information out there than you're interested in dealing with, but if you have the time, it will make a great online hobby for you.